pretty close. And then basically just fill in the gaps equally. Try to Let's see what that looks like. So, uh, Ned, how did you figure out your spacing? Uh, so this is 23 and a half inches inside here. These are three and a half inches wide, these boards, which totals up to 17 and a half. Subtract 23 and a half minus 17 and a half, you get six. Divide that by four, one, two, three, four, and you get an inch and a half. So I cut this at an inch and a half, and now each block is right there. That's basically. So would you say that math ended up being important? No. So, Ned, tell me something that was challenging about this project or something you would do differently next time. Buy enough wood. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, something I would do differently? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know much of anything, really. It's... It's not a complicated project, and it's one of those things where there's going to be imperfections and slight. When you're building rough like this and you're not trying to frame it out and put trim on it and make it look beautiful, it, there's going to be little things that stick out or things that don't look quite right or something that's not perfectly square, and you kind of have to be okay with it. So in that regard, I, I, there's not a whole lot different I would do because it's not a finesse project. It's just a functional project. And uh, what are you pleasantly happy about it? it, it it's a complete functional piece. It's a complete um, problem-solving piece. So I need to store things, and now I'm going to be able to. So as soon as it's done, I can start storing things here and put my work clothes down here so they're not in, I'm not running back and forth between our bedroom and down here to get my work clothes. So I think as far as that goes, it's completely it's perfect for what I need.